I'm Dr. Gerald Stucka. I'm the Extension Veterinarian and Livestock Stewardship Specialist uh, here at NDSU. So we've had several stressful events, snow events, rain events, and continued on for some time. So, and as we've talked about many occasions, how important it is for that calf to be born quickly, get up quickly, and nurse quickly, and absorb those life-saving antibodies, we call them immunoglobulins, into their system. So anything that interrupts that process, like the weather we've been through, or the mother not being able to take care of that calf quick enough, or not even lick it quick enough so that it becomes chilled instead of warmed up, uh, limits the amount of nutrients going to that calf, but also limits the amount of immunity going to that calf. So now I have a group of calves that are more susceptible to some of these pathogens that exist out in the environment. And so a couple of things to, to think about, and it's some of this is age related. If I have a calf that's three days old and standing kind of all hunched up and cold, that tells you that calf is not getting enough food. It's not getting enough nu nutrition, not getting enough fat from the milk. Maybe didn't nurse at all. So you got two problems. One, you got to take care of the calf. Number two, you may have to check the cow to see if she's got mastitis. Is there an issue with her not being able to nurse that calf? There's two issues there. The immediate one is to take care of the calf. You have to take the calf into a warm environment. You got to warm it up. And I'm hoping most of this poor temperature issue is over, but this is kind of the basis for everything. You've taken the calf in, you warmed it up, you gave it colostrum of some type, whether it's frozen, whether it's fresh, whether it was the, the prepared powder that you can mix together and get them back on its feet. Then you can return it to the cow and that's fine if she's willing to take it. And if it's only a day or so, they should really take that calf. If it's been longer than that, it gets to be a little bit of a problem and you may need to corral that cow and calf together. And if you do so in a tight space and work and be patient, they'll usually take that calf back. But still with that scenario, we've got a calf that's a little bit greater risk of developing things later on. Maybe within the first week of life, you're starting to see some calf diarrhea. It could be bacterial, could be viral, could even be protozoa. And the one that we talk about often is cryptosporidium. So those need to be attended to. Visit with your veterinarian about how to deal with them. Sometimes it's just dehydration and you can use some of these oral fluids to combat dehydration and the calf will get over it. If it becomes systemically ill, it's usually a bacterial infection and you may need to consult with your veterinarian. Do I actually have to give this calf antibiotics or not? And that's a critical decision to make and one that you probably shouldn't make by yourself, but ask your veterinarian, what do I do in this scenario? If the calf is older, let's say is three weeks of age, a couple things show up then, respiratory disease or what we call pneumonias. And it relates back to with a calf being stressed at birth, he's more susceptible. So now you got a, a lot of times a bacterial infection that again, antibiotics are probably gonna be necessary to combat what's going on in that animal. Again, please visit with your veterinarian. Don't just pull the old antibiotic off the shelf and use whatever you've got. Ask your veterinarian, him or her, how to handle this and what antibiotic is the best choice to make. The other one that can come along at three to four weeks of age is coccidiosis, and that's blood in the manure. And if they're out on a big area, I don't worry about it too, too much. You need to treat individual calves. If you're in a confined space, it becomes worse because it can it's going to get all of them. So sometimes, and the weather has turned a little bit, so sometimes kicking those cows out into a big space is the best preventive therapy that you can provide. Mm -hmm.